no jam student, I want to score a 300 in my next jam exam. I want to sit for jam exam just for the very first time and I don't want to take it again. This video is just for you. How can you hit 300 score in this year jam? I'm going to show you. This is a third video I'm producing and on prepared questions that are frequently asked by jambitos that are just uh, that, that are new in the system. Now I want you to take this. I don't want you to fall into that trap of taking this exam the second or the third time. That will never be your portion. Now I want you to look at this. The first video we talked about how much time you should spend on one question. The second video, I told you about how jams usually score the UTME exam. Now, this time around, I'm going to tell you what you need to do in order to score a 300 in your jam exam. Now, if you are there, let's go. The last time I told you that all you need to do in your English language, English is going to be a 100 mark. We talked about the whole subject, that the whole subject you'll be taking will be a 400 mark for all your subject combination English plus what three subjects you'll be taking this for what for 400 words max now how do we do this so that you can be able to score a 300 max in your jam examination now let me assume I want to take English language in my English language, I should be targeting a 75 mark score. If you have not watched my last frequently asked question, go and ask it. Go and watch it. And I've explained what you need to do, the questions you need to focus more attention to so as to get a higher mark. And those are your comprehension questions. So if you target 75 marks from English, now let me say I'm an engineering student. I'm, I'm, I'm taking the other three subject combination, math, physics and chemistry now in my maths in my mathematics i should look forward to scoring just a 35 i want to get just a 35 mark i want to get 35 questions correct i want to answer 35 questions correct now if i calculate them how many marks will i answer will i get because fifth mathematics is just 40 questions now if i calculate this that I want to score at least 35 questions correct. All I need to do out of these 40, this is the mark I'm going to get. If I want to get 35 questions right, you take 35 divided by what? You look for the percentage of 35 divided by what? 40. Multiply it by 100. Now, if you do that, what will you have? You have your 3,500 divided by what? 40. This will cut this. Now, we are going to look at 350 divided by 4. Now, when you go your 350 divided by 4, what will you have? You're going to have what? 87.5. Now, that is exactly what you're going to get as your point over 100 when you get 35 questions correctly. Now, let's look at the other option. Now, I want to be taking my physics. I want to sit for my physics. And this physics question, I want to target just uh, a 30 questions, correct? Now, that 30 question will be 30 over what? 40. Now, let's look at the percentage and look at how many marks I will be able to get out of this 30 question. Remember, physics is also over what? 100. Maths is over 100 and your chemistry over, over 100. Now, let's do this. Now, I'm going to have a 300, 3000 divided by what? 40. This will cut this. 40, 300 divided by 40. Now, let's go. I want to do it faster as we can. 300 divided by 40. What will you have? 300 divided by 4 will give you your what? Your 75 over what? 100. So that means if I attempt 30 questions, which I'm very sure of, I'm going to get 75 mark over 100 out of physics. Now, let me say... I have chemistry, which is the last subject combination I want to take. Now, chemistry, even if I, if I try as hard as I can to score a 25 in chemistry, I can be able to hit my 300 mark. Now, let me say I have my 25 over what? 40. And I multiply it by 100. That will give me what? My 2,500 divided by what? 40. This will cut this. 
Now we are going to look at uh, 250 divided by 4. 250 divided by 4, what will you have? 250 divided by 4. That will give you what? A 62, 62 point what? 5. Now, even if you get 25 questions correctly in your chemistry, you are going to hit a 62.5 score. And that is above average. Very okay. Now, let's see how you are going to get a 300 score from all this. Now, your English, you were able to get what? 75 marks. And you are okay with that. Now, plus your, your mathematics, you score 87.5. And you are very okay with that. Now, in your physics, you score 75. You're very okay with that. In your chemistry, you score 62.5. Now, sum all these things together. If you find out that if you sum all these things together, you're going to have 300. So you see how making a 300 mark in score can be as easy as anything. Whatever you focus your mind on, that as you are going to the exam hall, that is what you are going to get. You're going to get it. If you are going into the examination hall, focus your mind that you are answering 75 questions out of English, correct. 35 questions out of mathematics, correct. 30 questions out of physics, correct. And 25 questions out of chemistry, correct. And you'll be able to hit your 300 score you need to get admission into any university. And I promise you, if you score 300, no university is going to deny you admission into their merit list. If you want this advice, take this advice from me. It's an advice of, from somebody who has been monitoring JAM for the past 20 years. So if you know what you are doing, take this advice from me and you are going to hit the best score. Now we want to, we've gone as much as possible to help you score a 35 in this score. And I and my team have been struggling so hard in publishing questions in mathematics, past question paper that can help you hit this score in mathematics so as to get to 87. 0.5 over 100. Have you visited our channel? New Track Mathematics video, our YouTube channel is where we publish most of those mathematics videos. Now I want you to go there if you have not, hit the subscription button so that as we publish videos daily down to the day of your examination, you can be able to get a glimpse of that question, so those videos, and get yourself prepared to score 300. Can I be able to score 300 in my jam examination? I can hear you say, yes, you can. Go ahead and do it, because I know you can defeat Jam. Subscribe to our channel if you have not. And if this video is very interesting to you, I want you to share it so that all your friends can have a glimpse of this. I'll see you.